Tabe, Ban Chiamin, and Li Shengmu. Umpire, Yao Lina, Malaysia. City Judge, Aung Kao Leung, Malaysia. So here come the men's doubles finalists. Cho Gunwoo and Shinbek Cho of Korea. And their opponents trying to make history here at the Malaysia Open. Fang Chiamin and Li Sheng Mu of Taipei. Never before has a Malaysian Open title been won by a player or players from Chinese Taipei. Well, for this Korean pair, a very new pairing indeed. And certainly they were helped by the withdrawal of their teammates, the number one seeds, Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Dae. But my goodness, haven't they made the most of it, including that semi-final against last year's champions Chai Biao and Guo Zhengdong in yesterday's semi-final. That was yesterday evening. In the bottom half of the draw, well, Fang and Lee have just got better and better as the tournament has progressed against Hashimoto and Hirata yesterday dropped the second game and in fact Fang started getting a little bit cross at his partner that he was being too defensive or making too many errors but my goodness look how they responded in the decider so this an intriguing contest but as far as the pair from Taipei are concerned they have been playing together since 2006, so this is their seventh year together. They have four career titles, including two Super Series in 2010. They actually won four tournaments back to back. They won the Singapore Super Series, then the Indonesian Super Series, then they went on to Canada, they won there, and then the US Open Grand Prix as well. For the Koreans, well, Coming into this tournament, they'd only got two tournaments towards their world ranking. One last year, the Turkey International, where they reached the final. And then last week, they had to qualify. And then they lost in the first round to their opponents of today. So, Cho Gunwoo, 23, Shin Bek Chul. 22 both tall men 183 and 186 respectively and it was their quarter final that really was the only time that they got pushed the full distance but i'm reluctant to say that because the semi-final was an extraordinary match against the defending champions chai biao and guo zhengdong they saved two game points in the opening game which they eventually won 26 24 and won on their fifth game point and then of course 23 21 in the second just shows how close that was 56 minutes for those two games in that semi-final yesterday evening so to Fang Chiamin and Li Shengmu Fang Chiamin 25 years of age I thought he's going to turn 26 next week Li Shengmu 25 and Fang is on the right as we look at them I do apologize that's round the wrong way as we look at our players Fang Chiamin on the right Li Sheng Mu on the left so as I say four career titles they were quarter finalists last week in Korea and as far as their path through today, well, they've played against two seeded pairs, and the two seeded pairs have taken them the full distance. The number five seeds, Mohamed Hassan and Mona Sepano in the second round, and then Hashimoto and Pirata, the number six seeds in yesterday's semi final.
Well, the pair from Taipei up one place in the world rankings this week, up to 13 officially. The Koreans are 141, but I think we can ignore that because they've been playing on the tour with different partners and it's because they've only got two results towards their world ranking that they're so low down. Well, there's confirmation of what I was saying, that they played against each other in the first round of the Korean Open. The Koreans having had to go through the qualifying rounds to meet in that first round last week. And as you can see, it was a right old battle. Three games. Very wonderful to see. Female umpire in charge of men's doubles final. And so was Judge also from Malaysia. Well, the Koreans did actually play four tournaments together in 2009. The best they did that year was a couple of quarterfinals. So for the Koreans, this is their first ever final together. And what an opportunity. Turn of Sir Shimbek Chul absolutely leaping on that, and I have to say, in the semi final yesterday, I thought he was the outstanding player on court. Ooh, nervous start by his partner. Well, I think it could be a battle between this man, Yi Shen Wu, and Shimbek Chul. Who can dominate the front? Shinbek Cho, of course, perhaps best known for the fact that he won the Asian Games gold medal in the mixed doubles. Ooh, Jong. Sensational match it was, too, and he played a sensational part in that. Service fault called. That's well long. Now, as for Shin Beck Chol's partner, there he is, Cho Gun Wu. He won the World Junior Championships in 2006 in the boys' doubles with a certain Lee Yong Day. Lee Yong Day, of course, very famous in badminton terms now. at the moment. That's understandable. Well, perhaps nerves all around. Total miss it. Yeah, all you can do is a little smile. Desperately short lift. And then hit under the net.
and wide. It's a good rally. Well, I was critical of the pair from Taipei in the early stages of their semi-final yesterday. I felt they were defending too much in that rally. Content to defend initially. And then getting themselves on the attack. This is a much better play. Is it wrong? Well, Li Sheng Mu can't believe the call. Umpire just asking for confirmation from the line judge. Oh, that was a mile inside. That's a shocking call. idea and block it to the nets rather than lift as he was doing in the early stages of yesterday's semi-final he can't afford to make errors so to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage to Gunwu and Shinbek Chow. Moon Su, the coach. Looking very intense in the instructions he's giving them. Just six minutes. What he was doing so well yesterday. Shinbek Cho. Oh, yes. This is a good little spell by the Koreans. Teammate. Five straight points. Pay from Taipei need to bring this run to an end.
it's called low. And the indecision on the low serve. Hmm. Well, was it? tap down no pace on the shuttle there's first of all the confusion between the two players from Taipei and then what on earth happened there low serve a oh, slight disagreement between the play two players about whether the shuttle should be changed or not Koreans wanted it changed player from Taipei said no Judgment, no question that one was long. Just too flat with the smash from Li Sheng Mu. That's a great defensive shot. Oh, well, looking at that again, I wasn't quite as convinced. Interception. Oh, that's perfect placement. Good, calm thinking. that nice shot from Shin Baek Cho means that the Koreans have four game points. Yeah, convert on their first opportunity. 21-16.
and this previously untried and untested partnership. Well, astonishing performance so far throughout the whole tournament. And now in the opening game of the final. 13 minutes of play for 21-16. So the players return to court. Advice from the coaches complete. Interesting to see with the Taipei pair if they manage to get Li Sheng Mu to the net more. That's what I think they need to do. What they also need to do is make the Koreans back off from the net. Their command of the front court in the opening game was the decisive factor. Judgment got out of the way in time. Yeah, that's perfect. I've got perfect sight looking down that line. better start to this second game from Fang and Lee.
Oh, that's a wonderful change of pace. Smashed the racket for Shinbeth Chol as he made the dive. Broke his racket. And this interception from Lee, from Fang, actually. Look how far back he's gone in his defence. No wonder he was vulnerable to that little block. Yeah, you could just see the smashed racket. Now that's what he was doing so well yesterday. Li Shenlu. Reading the play at the front of the court. defend and defend but eventually it'll get broken down somehow the power from Taipei have got to have more of the attacking play they don't force it home when they have the opportunity whereas the Koreans absolutely lethal when they get the opportunity they're pouncing on it Well, you missed it that time, but that's the sort of difference. Goes for the for the kill. And certainly, yesterday, he was making it count. Once again, it was the right idea. Trying to block defence, get themselves back on the attack, the Koreans. Well, that's good work by Fang and Lee.
Yeah, hesitation. But it was clever channel attack from Fang. Forced the hesitation between the two Korean players. And he set up with a good returning serve, of course. So it is Fang Chiamin and Li Shenmu. They have a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the second game. Koreans have to open the first, though. Well, fans have flocked into the stadium here. So much more positive play in the second game. And finally, <laughs> Spring has gone in Lee's racket. And yet he still plays the winner. That's extraordinary. Even had time to have a little look down at his racket. Did you see that? Yeah. No more strings have gone. Clever, clever play from Li Sheng Mu. The center line judge called it out. <coughs> the center line judge has now changed his mind. Well, that could be the momentum and the lucky break. Well, that certainly wasn't the... Uh... I feel the question, but this is a test of character. Now for the Koreans. Oh. That proves the point, is this? Well, that's the gentleman who initially called the low serve out, and then changed his mind and called it in.
good rally. Fair from Taipei. Now really on top of this second game. It's going wide. Yeah. Nine game points to level this men's doubles final at one game apiece. Opportunities have come and gone. Yeah. Four hundred point eight. Long. This time they convert 21 16. Symmetry in the scoreline from the opening game. One game all confirms the umpire. Yep, it was indeed long. Only 32 minutes in total for two games. So the umpire calls the players back onto court for this third and deciding game.
Well, the start is critical. judgment to leave that but it has once again been shin big Joel rushed forward to the net it was his partner had driven the defense back and was moving forward himself but he shin just so quick got there in front of him This is Nick and Tuck at the start of this decider. Just wide. Body language after the rally from Fang Chiamin because sometimes I think he tends to be a little bit laid back on court. Well, they're indicating how pumped up he was. idea As I suspected right at the start of this match, it's all going to come down to a battle between Li Sheng Mu and Shin Bet Chiol, because on that occasion, it was Li Sheng Mu. My goodness, they are deep in defence. Very much a Korean trait. quite so lethal from the back of the court. Oh. Uh, on that 
occasion. Once again, it was Li Sheng Mu who got the better of the two front court players. Shin Bek Jol, I got to the front first. Look, there he is. Then Li Sheng Sheng Mu has his opportunity. And he makes it count. And the pair from Taipei are into the lead. But not for long. to make doubly sure. suspect you've either got a lift and given an awful lot of height. And a flat lift like that, you've got to be so desperately careful you don't hit long. One game all, nine all. points now the Koreans back into the lead that's a lovely drop shot and I'm surprised Williams getting caught with that so often now. It's the pair from Taipei who have the narrowest of possible advantages at the change of ends in the deciding game. There's got to be at least one point in it, but that's all there is. One solitary point. And ten deciding game. <laughs> the hesitation at the back of the court from Shin Bake Chou.
and Fang Chiamen is more pumped up today, right now, than I think I've ever seen him in the past. Oh, that's a great smash from Shin. Power and angle. Drifted wide. Addressing the shuttle early, he's got the options. Using the tram lines. Look, he's ready, he's anticipating. And then the mid-court area used quite brilliantly. That's landed in. to the back of the court and he managed to intercept it. That is quite extraordinary. want to win this my Maybank Malaysia Open I need to make a bit of a comeback right now well failed to do so and instead make the error Well, the umpire not allowing him to go off and tell down. That's good umpiring. That's three points, possibly three points away from the title. players who are not used to playing with each other when you get to the tight tense situations shots down the center of the court has a little uncertainty And now Fang Chiamin and Li Xingmu of Chinese Taipei have six match point 
opportunities. Oh. Oh, was that nerves on the serve? The reason he flicked. We're just trying to do something a little different. but they've won their first title in their first final for over 18 months. Their third ever Super Series title to go along with the Singapore and Indonesian in 2010. The moment of victory the title is theirs. All three games being won by the margin of 21-16. Opening game, of course, to Cho Gun Wu and Shin Bek Chol. 50 minutes. And for Fang and Lee, absolute delight because they are the champions of the Maybank Malaysia Open. certainly enjoyed that got themselves nicely warmed up the match they've really come to see which is men's singles coming up next featuring home superstar Lee Chong Wai but before we have the men's singles and then after the men's singles of course women's doubles we'll have the prize presentation for the men's doubles Shri Ahmad Shabari Cheek will make her presentations. Minister from the Ministry of Youth and Sport. Well, you need two pairs to make a good match. And all credit to Chogun Wu and Shin Baek Jo. I hope we see them playing together in many more tournaments because they're a very exciting prospect. Had to qualify at the Korean Open. My goodness, they've excelled themselves this week. We knew they were both very, very competent players. But in all honesty, I think there's few who will have expected them to have reached the final 
in only their third tournament together. But the champions honour Fang Chiamin and Li Shengmu. Li Shengmu gets his medal first. Mohamed Adamri Abdullah, Chief Marketing Officer Maybank, also involved in the prize presentation. And Mr. Uzad Raya, Head of Communications, uh, Proton Holdings. Mm -hmm. part of the presentation party and all the dignitaries will take their place with the finalists or the photographers. Well, their world ranking was 13. It was up one place this week. You'll go up at least a